Pack leaders is here with friends, right? Protecting families from change pack. They want to do a video about the psychology of money. There's a book out there, and I want to share it with you. It was actually free on on uh, YouTube. I've listened to it before they pulled it down because uh, I guess the guy just you know, ripped it. I guess. But uh, this is the book by Morgan Housel. Uh, if you just YouTube it, I'm sure there's um, some people with, uh, what's it called, shorts and maybe actual core messages or summaries of the book. Uh, unless you you know really want to buy the book, then buy it. But I actually probably would buy it. It's, it's actually pretty good. It talks about, in a summary, the, um, uh, what's it called, having enough. You know, because uh, as, you know, entrepreneurs and stuff or just, you know, just being husbands, we, we kind of want more. We want to do more. We want to, you know, have more free time and more with our, you know, family and this and that. And then we keep sacrificing our time to, to pursue those things and taking more risks than we really need, need to. And so I think it has to do with, with trading, too, because uh, we're trying to leverage up more. We want to get it faster. And with all that leverage and risk... Uh, it's bringing a lot of misery uh, with it, and if we just do what Buffett says, you know, like it's just compounding and don't let that compounding be interrupted unnecessarily through losses, it'll just do really well. It just, but you have to give it time. So time is going to be hard to uh, to come by, and that's the thing is where if you have the mindset that it's never, it's not enough, you're going to try to bump it up and have more risk and. Uh, 10x leverage, 5x, you know, whatever, 15x, 20x, 25, and just leverage up until you risk it all and lose it all, uh, and that's what's been uh, happening with with higher leverage. So, um, and then, and then, what else did we talk about? Um, yeah, having enough and the mindset of having enough, so that I'm like, dude, yeah, I, I do have enough. You know, we're in this great country here. Uh, you know, we don't have atrocities. We don't have bombs dropping off in you know, in, in our in our neighborhood, and we're not. In, uh, there's no war happening here, and uh, I don't have to worry about my house being broken into by soldiers and uh, my family being you know uh, pulled out of the house and and you know being tortured and whatever right and uh, stuff you know that that could happen to in, in during war times. I'll leave it as that. Uh, and so, you know, we're at a great time where we can just go to a store and just pay a couple bucks and get some, some food and we're going to wait six months to, to grill the apple and, and, uh, and you know, whatever, right? It's, it's a great time. And so, just, I mean, you know, just having that mindset of having enough puts me in a state of mind where I was like, dude, I don't have to be taking all these extra risks and I probably would do better if I had the mindset of it enough, and and I should, and I will, <laughs> uh, and so I would trade differently with the mindset of I'm like, well, I don't have to take crazy risks because I have enough. Why? Why would I need more and throw it all away and risk it for more more things that that I don't need in a sense? Um, and you know, you talk about like and they have stories about these guys who, who you know did an awesome bet in 2008, shorted the market, made a lot of money, like millions, right? And he's like, dude. Let's do it again, <laughs> and then he ends up losing it all, right? Because he thought that he, he he did it once, he got lucky, whatever, and then he he think he could do it again, and he he couldn't, and he lost it all. And so like, dude, you just kept the hundred million, you're good, right? You know, like who wouldn't want that, right? But then uh, we want more. Our greed kicks in, and whatnot, because we didn't have the mindset of enough. Um, and I know that it also it's all also innate nature for us as I guess providers or, or man of the house kind of thing to strive for more because I do feel times where I'm not doing anything I'm like dude I'm just hanging with my family being unproductive and you know maybe I should go do something right and then it was that well that because like dude that's gonna cost me money I'm gonna have to hire some people I'm gonna have to you know spend some time away from family I have to travel I have to buy materials buy equipment you know yada 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 and then that just all exits out right but I think you have mindset enough. You buy it enough, where it's like you know what, it's good. And I, you know, I don't need no fancy stuff. I, I just do it because I love doing it, and not because I'm trying to get the high quality stuff so I can make it production worthy, so I can make it sellable and reputation and credibility. I just want to do it because I enjoy it, right? And so, and then, and I probably would provide a better quality product too, uh, with that mindset of enough. 
And I'm like, hmm, if I had enough, what I what would I be doing right now, right? What? How can I give value? How can I uh, do more? And I think that with trading, it's a little different because the more you do and the more risk you take, it's not it's not product it's not productive, right? Sometimes it's just productive and enough to just sit back and say, hey, I made my 25% today. I don't need to be working more or making the bot work more because we have enough, all right? And and then if we try to go for more, we end up making negative 25 instead of positive 25 for the day. And you're like, dude, I wasted that, my time working extra for nothing to take a loss, right? And so it's a little different in terms of trading, right? So let's go ahead and kind of apply that enough strategy. Uh, there's more other concepts to the book that you know that's in there. I, I can't think of right now, but that's the biggest thing I, I picked out after that, and just you know, um, and uh, thinking of things differently. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. I want to show you something with the the enough strategy, right? Slow and steady, and five percent a day. No, five percent. No, ten percent wallet. Uh, half a percent to one percent a day, right? All right. So this is a uh, you know it, it, XRP has been taking a lot of risk right now. Uh, yeah, that's just going. I had seven down to four, so not throwing anything big on that anymore. So it it turned out to be good, but then it came back down and and some. Uh, ETH on the other hand, I think I started point oh oh six. You know, I was up uh twenty five percent at one point, then gave it all back and and some. Okay. BTC wise, slow and steady, 2.35 for the day. Even though it's tiny off a $200 count, 5x leverage. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at my history. How, how consistent is it? And uh, I don't have to do more. Uh, I started with $200. I did, um, I did do one thing though. I, I, I did get tempted to uh, add 30% wallet and that was productive. But I did get scared, uh, not as scared as in like, I, after listening to the book, it's like, hey, you know, you also need to have margin of error because if that 10%, uh, if I use 30% of my wallet and that market drops tremendously, I would be liquidated if it drops down, let's say 10,000 in a day, which has happened, could happen kind of thing. But I know that I could probably survive it better uh, at 10% wallet. And just making it tiny so you also be aware of not just how much you can gain with this but also how much you can lose and recover uh, and not lose all right so i went ahead and changed it back to 10 percent of my wallet instead of 30 percent of my wallet uh, with 30 percent of my wallet i did make 25 bucks in a day with a uh 200 account so that gave me a little boost and then the other 25 bucks was just slow and steady kind of thing Okay, so let's go ahead and take my, my uh, history here. Let's go ahead and uh, go to BTC and search it. All right, other. Uh, okay, let me BTC this. All right, so starting back when, you see, maybe I had this tiny loss here. I don't know, maybe that was fees or something, but it's been positive for a good, let's see, to the 28th, and I, when did I start? The 14th, keep going, I think I started here. I don't know, how, how big a loss was that? Uh, not sure, oh yeah. Yeah, this is when I, I was I was, I was was doing that, um, on that competition and I got liquidated, yeah. Yeah, that sucked a lot. And then I was like, oh man, that, 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 that was bad. So anyway, so I think I started then, so this is my big liquidation here, a .04. And then I was like, man. So I kind of added it back in for my commissions. So 0.006 on 911 until today. And you can look at here; it's all positive. Tiny ones, like half percent to one percent a day. And uh, so let's see. Think about 0 0.0044. And let's go ahead till today. Previous 911, 914. Positive days, I mean, and there's tiny losses where we're just holding it for for because of fees and whatever or holding costs. Uh, it took a little tiny bit out. So four four, not much, right? Four five, four well, four six, four six, four six, four six, for the longest time, four seven, four eight, 
four, eight, five. All right, so it it, it took forever, right? So, but from let's see, overall wallet wise, zero point zero five zero zero five. 0 0.0044 0 0.006 divided by 0 0.0044 and about 13.6 percent all right on uh, just from BTC uh, over the um, less than a month right I was like dude 9-11 to and that's yeah that's less than a month so let's just say you know well, underestimated, right? And it's not it's not the full full month yet. But let's just say I only got thirteen percent for the month. So we'll go ahead and go monthly. I'm averaging thirteen percent a month. I started with two hundred bucks, and then we're gonna go ahead and kind of make it long term. Like, hey, you know, I have enough. Let's just say this is my retirement account, and I'm gonna retire again or <laughs> semi-retired to fully retire in 20 years right holy smokes that is crazy right with 200 dollar balance 13 percent monthly interest rate holy what hundred thousand <laughs> hundred thousand million i don't know it's just unfathomable right all right so let's just say maybe in five years you know what's life going to be like in five years all right, so you know, three hundred six thousand. That's still pretty good, right? You know, like I have enough. It's a good little nest egg there. Uh, let's not worry too much about it. Uh, six years. Six years might get a little crazy. I'll be a millionaire in six years. Okay, fine with the two hundred dollar balance. But most likely, hey, if it's pretty stable, I think I'm probably gonna be adding to this every single month. Uh, so I think if I'm looking pretty good here, let's just go back to five years. Let's just say I added uh, an extra thousand. I don't know every. I don't know. I'll add a thousand bucks. All right. Let's just say a hundred bucks every month. Just to just add to it. Whatever. Oh, a million. Okay. So, so the thing is, is just don't interrupt the compounding interest. And uh, ten percent wallet. I, I was tempted to do thirty, and I was like, oh. You know, I, now it's just, I, I think we've cracked it. I think we've cracked it and uh, and I sh we shouldn't do any more. So it's TBS, Treybot Secrets only, okay? It's got trap in it and, and it's got auto run, okay? So it's 20 bucks a month for the TBS, 30 for the auto run, and another 20 for the, for the trap, okay? And then just, just run it and, and then just, you know, just pay it and kind of, uh, you know, just do it and then, and keep adding to your account and and just be s slow and steady and uh, hey dude it just I think this I think it's just understanding how compounding interest works uh, we compound by t time which is the least riskiest and 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 it just doesn't lose you know unless it tanks like a tremendous amount but we just lose 10% maybe I don't know right um, and then uh, and yeah I mean I think if anything, if we just put, um, I don't know, this is 10, 10x, I don't know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about 1x leverage, but using the entire account, right, uh, would that be better, I don't know, uh, it could, I could lose everything, right, so, it wouldn't make sense if I, yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend that, 10%, 5% probably even more recoverable, because I know that 10% requires 11% to recover, 5% loss requires 6% to recover, um, and so with 10% wallet, half a percent to 1% a day, five years, pay off your house. I don't know. Um, you know, I'm sure you can probably add to it like a checking account, you know, and it'll probably reach there a little way, way faster. Uh, but I'd say that's the plan. Um, I'm not going to add any more to it. I've just spent so much time programming this, trying to figure out high leverage, high trading, I couldn't do it manually, I couldn't do it by bots. I don't think anyone, even crypto phase trades low leverage. I think low leverage is the way to go. And just, we just DCA it down. So if it comes down tanks on us, we just pick it up, buy up everything. 
just don't get liquidated. It's going to keep DCing in. And we do lose it. We'll probably lose 10%-ish because uh, there isn't a cap on the DCA. It'll kind of keep resetting uh, every uh, 15 minutes. I think I have a set it to every day or at least once a day. Or well, I should probably check on that one. Because if it keeps on tanking hard and we keep on DCing down, that could probably load up some pretty heavy positions. So... I'm pretty sure I have it on there, but I'll probably double check that. But if you see it, uh, maybe it might make sense to refresh it once a day and no more than that. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Links in the description below. Um, I think I'm going to pull the leverage trap about it because it's, it's just not, I don't want anyone else to, you know, lose. Uh, and you know, I probably still play with it because you know, we're tempted, and I'll probably just play with like a buck here, 10 bucks here and there, just trying to figure things out. But we just let the small saloon stay right. We have enough right now, we're just you know, we can still play with small amounts and uh, just let that small one ride, okay? All right, thanks for watching, and you'll probably retire. Hopefully, you know, me I, with the mindset enough, we'll, we'll be vacationing more uh, in a few years, so we'll see.